Hello, I'm Professor Seth Fry. Now, up to this point, um, we've we've been I've protected you from a lot of the complexity of code. We, I've I've all you know every notebook, every bit of code you've run has had a little bit of boilerplate, a little bit of code you run that you don't have to understand it. You just run it, and it sets things up, gets things working. Uh, but around this point, uh, around this module, I'm starting to um, your boilerplate's kind of getting longer, and it's having more and more that you don't understand. Uh, and, and maybe that's intimidating, maybe it's scary, maybe you're starting to get a little freaked out that your boilerplate in some cases could easily be longer than the actual lesson. Uh, now, um, uh, how should you think about that? Should you be worried? Should you be concerned? The truth of it is, um, I'm doing this on purpose. That complexity was always there. I was just hiding it from you. And now I'm exposing you to it. I'm, uh, and nothing's changed. Um, you're just seeing more of what used to be hidden. So uh, you're, you don't know how, you've never done construction. You don't know how a building's built. Uh, you don't know what's precisely under the floor under you. Maybe there's linoleum and then there's uh, wood or some foam and then there's concrete. Um, if you knew that, does walking become scarier? If uh, I've given you this car analogy before, you don't know have to, you don't have to know how your car works to drive it. You don't know how you don't have to know how to fix a car to drive it. Um, uh, and, and along those lines, does suddenly learning more about the car or seeing more of the complexity of the car does that make it harder to drive? No, you just know more about the car. You've just been exposed to some of the complexity you've been hidden from, but the complexity was always there. So why? Why am I doing this? Um, uh, if nothing's really changed, why not just keep the boilerplate hidden? Well, the truth of it is, you've been using a computer all your life. Uh, you, you've, uh, the complexity's always been there. By showing it to you, um, I'm just kind of uh, showing you that by mere exposure, uh, you can become a little more comfortable with it. Um, uh, maybe now you're skimming that boilerplate and you weren't before, and you still don't understand it, but you kind of get the gist. It's setting things up for you. It's getting you working um, so that you can do fun stuff without understanding all the messy details. And the messy details were always there. Uh, now you can kind of see them, maybe inspect them, maybe completely ignore them, but at least scroll past them and, and, uh, and have that little part of you that got intimidated um, you know, be able to suppress it and say, well, you know, it was always there. Now at least I can see it. Um, but I'm still secure. Uh, I know already that there's a dizzying amount of complexity on top of what I've been doing from the beginning. That the things I thought were the most basic elements of code are actually themselves these abstractions floating on piles and piles and piles of more primitive ideas. Um, uh, and in that way, I'm benefiting from the work of previous people. I'm able to, to, to start at a place that makes sense to me and build from that uh, uh, in a way that, you know, that, that just reflects all of the meaning that, that societies build on top of each other. So again, uh, like, a, a, like a point I made uh, earlier, you, by recognizing the complexity, um, that you're building from, you're able to see your connection to, to something bigger, to other things people have done to get you started at a level, level of meaning and motivation that makes all of this exciting, important, relevant, and interesting to you.